I am here with Apollo Creed, the heavyweight <laughs> champion of the world. What do you have to say about Rocky Balboa? Oh, amazing guy, amazing guy, but I'm taking him down. There's no question about it. <laughs> hey, if he can't fight, I know he can cook. That's right. <laughs> so, guys, you know we're big Rocky fans. We're here all month long talking about some of our core exercises at the Parisi Speed School. Today, we're gonna be talking about the side lunge. Yes, an exercise that's been around probably for hundreds of years, thousands of years, but we're gonna really get down and dirty and deep dive into the technique of this side lunge. First thing, I'm gonna uh, coach Eric on this. He got both feet on the white line. And when I coach an athlete in this motion, and especially young kids, you know, the Jumpstart kids or the younger TP1 kids, neurologically, they're not really all wired up, you know, yet. Their, their connections aren't really uh, generated yet. Eric, what I like to do is we're gonna to go to the right, so I like to coach the athlete. First, we're gonna keep both feet pointing straight ahead. You're gonna take a nice big step to the right. So take a nice big step to the right. Good. Now, at this point, both feet have to stay pointed straight ahead. This is really, really important for both feet to be pointed straight ahead. That's number one. You gotta make that really, really clear. Number two, both feet have to be flat on the ground. They have to stay in full contact with the ground. Now, at this point, we're gonna really be focusing on stretching the left groin. So Eric took a big step to the right. So he's gonna mentally do a single uh, leg squat with the right. But also what I forgot to say, Eric should have his hands on his hips, you know, on his hips. And we're gonna do a single leg squat to the right. So squat with the right leg, drop your butt back. That's the side lunge. Now the back is flat, hands are on hips. He's really dropping down. This foot right here stays flat. That foot is flat and then back up. Good, now when he comes back up, he can stay in the split position or he can bring his foot all the way back to the, the starting position. Either or, it doesn't, no one is, the first one isn't right or wrong. So step again to the right, both feet flat, drop, drop the hips, single leg squat, back flat and back up. Now, I like to coach this in progressions. So come back up, uh, so the first step to really start this off is, I teach the athletes, all right? Step, take a big step, okay? Squat down, drop the hips back, squats down. That's number two. And back up. Now, we can change this. We can make this uh, a little bit more progressive. Hands behind the head. Interlock the fingers. Now we're going to do it with hands overhead. So step to the right. Single leg squat with the right leg. Drop the hips. Good. And back up. And let's go one more step. And drop. Good. Drop. The See how flat, neutral spine, butt goes back. Foot's flat. See, this foot turned a little bit, so you gotta get that back. That's gonna give a greater groin stretch and back up. Now, last progression, same deal, hands behind the head, but this one, we're gonna let the left hand drop down to get a little bit of a rotation in there, get even a little extra stretch on that groin. So let's go hands behind the head, ready and step. Drop, and now let that hand come down a little bit, a little bit rotation. So he still keeps a relatively neutral spine, just a little rotation and back up. Now, letting the weight of that hand come down gives you even a little more stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Right? So let's go one more just to show. Step and drop down. Good, that other hand stays behind the head. There you go. And back up. Good. What are your thoughts on that, Eric? How do uh, you feel? I, I love that drill because that, that introduces us to the position they have to be in for the side run. So once they regress that back, the kids will really understand that position of power. And furthermore, coaches really start to understand it as well. That is a great, great uh, point. You know, getting ready for the side run, getting ready for lateral movement, change of direction. This is really important to open up that groin. We talked about it all, all month long. We went over gate swings. You know, we really drilled down on that. Now the side lunge. So taking your fundamental exercises to the next level, really teaching progression regression and really focusing on technique and that's the secret to the Parisi Speed School. It's all about technique.